Today and probably tomorrow as well, we're taking you along in our favorite city in Canada, Halifax, our home. We're gonna show you around, we're gonna eat around as well, mm -hmm. but... We're doing it in style this year. So thanks to our friends at Ad Motors, we have this super cool electric bike. Check this out. so much fun <laughs> so this e-bike is the m66 r7 from ad motor and i have to say normally when i'm thinking e-bike i'm thinking like you know a few kilometers and nothing crazy but this is not something you're gonna have to worry with this one because this one can go up to 105 miles with only one charge plus it's orange my favorite color which by default makes it faster so with the fat tires that are on it this bike can even go in the sand, snow, up the hills, in the streets, and that is perfect because in Nova Scotia with all the seasons, it means it's not limited to just summertime. So this can hold two people up to 300 pounds. And today we're really putting it to the test because together Tracy and I are about 298 pounds. <laughs> First up, we're going to our favorite restaurant with the best tacos. Probably the best tacos in the entire world apart from Mexico, of course. <laughs> Welcome to Antajos. Oh, Antajos, do I miss this place? Yes. So Antajos was our date night when we lived back in Halifax. Um, and their food, their guac. Everything is so good. When we're living in Halifax, the employees kind of knew us because we were here like sometimes twice a week. Yeah, pretty much. No shame. Nope. To do it right, you gotta take a guac for appetizer. Because it's the best. So good. And then for main, I always go for four different tacos, which are amazing. The fish one is a 10 out of 10, and Tracy's a big fan of the enchiladas. I kind of switch it up. It's really good too. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I'm just speechless. Every time, they're fantastic. Sometimes I get this, sometimes I get the tuna tostada. It's always good. Yep. That was delicious. Up to the next spot. Up next? <laughs> Citadel Hill. We're going on top of Halifax. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see in this, but we are going straight uphill. It's a big hill and we're still doing like 10 miles per hour with 298 pounds. Like this is impressive. It is pretty impressive, I have to say. Where we are standing right now is the Halifax Citadel. This is the highest point in Halifax. This gives you an amazing point of view of the city. And this back in the days was used as a military base to defend the, uh, the harbor that's back there. And this was one of the most heavily defended port in North America. And on top of that, actually at 12 o'clock every day at noon, they still shoot the cannon off. I heard it earlier and like it scared me because I haven't heard it in so long. And I was like, oh. It's pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually didn't have dessert at Antajos. We're really hoping that this thing still has what we want. If you've ever watched our old, old Halifax video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have to say too, the seat is actually pretty comfy, eh? Yeah, even like for two people, like that's yeah. pretty good. And I'm really taking- Squishy. Well, <laughs> I'm really taking advantage of the fact that David is shielding me from the freezing cold wind right it's now. It's colder than it looks. Way colder. Welcome to Flynn's Dairy Bar and Convenience Store. So 
So one of the first travel-ish videos that we ever did on our channel, we did around Halifax. And this was the convenience store that we came to. And as we walked in, they even remember us and they've been watching our videos. So it's super cool. And we had to get another shake. And I think David's gonna get a Sunday this time as well. If you're ever in Halifax, this place, Flynn's, is the best. Not only for like the cool Sundays, yes, but like course. they have all kind of like snacks that you won't get anywhere else. And they're opening a new location soon, so stay posted for that. Guys, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. These look so good. I can't wait to eat them. But we're gonna take some cool photos, so we're gonna go down to the water. So I got the Oreo cheesecake milkshake. And it comes with a piece of cheesecake on top. Yes, I already like took a couple bites. Like a little bites. roll, like, piece of cheesecake. And, like, not only that, I couldn't decide bef between the Kit Kat. So they put Oreo and Kit Kat in my milkshake. So good, isn't it? Mm. I have the um, hazelnut explosion, and it's like, if you like chocolate, like, this is, this is the one. Mm -hmm. So good. Look how like, aesthetic it is. We have to go that, down a hill with, on a bicycle with them, but still. That's how thick the milkshake is. Like, it's on its side. That's milkshake. So we're gonna finish this. Um, we have a time commitment that we have time crunch. So we're gonna piggyback up tomorrow for some more goodies because Halifax is all about goodies. See you tomorrow. And we are back, same place, same cool bike. A little bit less beard, new haircut. That's pretty much it. Time to get some yummy food. Yeah. Bomb around Halifax. And it's gonna be so much more enjoyable because right now it's 10 degrees. Oh, man, it's the so other day was like warm. minus three or something. <laughs> so it's gonna be nice. And we're starting with the best pad thai oh, in Halifax. Yeah. Maybe Canada, maybe the world. I mean, we've, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk more there. Welcome to Talatai on Moore Street at the corner of Hollis. So when we lived in Halifax, this was our cheat night. If we were, like some people got pizza and stuff, ours was Pad Thai. One Pad Thai is huge, as you can see here. And I still think it's actually pretty close to the authentic one we had in Thailand, I would say. But trick is, you have to have the peanuts on it. It makes it so much better. That was so good. I'm telling you guys, so, it's so as good. good as Thailand. Like, legit. Oh, yeah. Same, same. Yeah, yeah. But in Halifax. <laughs> and they're so sweet. So of course we didn't get dessert, and it was very tempting to get two pad thais, not just one, but we have to go all the way over to Gadajin to get something sweet. So unfortunately, Fortune Donut is actually closed, but this place does need a special mention because their donuts are fantastic. So since Fortune was closed, we came down to LF Bakery. It's supposedly the best bakery in Halifax. I've never tried their stuff, but I just looked inside and it looks absolutely delicious. Pro tip for donut shop and bakeries, always come early in the morning. There's way more choices, but we got lucky, I think. So we got a chocolatine and a dolce de leche donut, but we're gonna do the chocolatine first. That crunch. That looks extra flaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing chocolatine. First bite. <laughs> Fred is gonna love that. It's a pretty intense bite there. How is this fun? Mm. So I love bakery. I'm a big fan. Me too. Um, I want to try their sandwiches, but the highlight was the dolce de leche donut cake. Sure. 
man, that was but so good. That place, like on top of being a bakery, I mean, like yeah. they make the bread and everything. So all their sandwiches is made on fresh bread. They have the Definitely coffee and a bunch of different things. <laughs> but yeah, go early so you get more choices and pastries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up to the next spot. So last year we made a video about best things to eat in Canada and people from Nova Scotia and especially people from Halifax were extremely mad at us, especially Tracy who's I do from here. I completely understand, we just ran out of time. There is one thing yes. we didn't include in that video and that thing was... A donair. Welcome to Tony's, the best donair in town. So like Tracy said, the food in question is donair. For mm. people coming from like Nova Scotia, so Halifax, they love mm -hmm. that stuff. I personally think it is <laughs> awful. I the sauce love it. is so bad. Technically, the sauce is condensed milk, vinegar, and sugar. Don't Could knock you it tell till me you try in it. what world this fits Don't together? Don't knock it till you try it. Tracy was born and raised here in Nova Scotia, and she loves that stuff. Look at that goodness. Mm. I couldn't even tell you what the meat is. It's like spicy beef. Let me get let me get a bite. It's like the meat, the pita, the tomatoes, onions, mm. all fine. It's the sauce for me. I just can't. But the sauce makes it. Mm. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, Tony's also makes massive slices of pizza. Also, which is also pretty good. You know, you're in a good spot. When this is a regular size, it's just filled with meat. It's massive. Tracy, how was that? Fan freaking tastic. In normal donair style fashion, I couldn't finish it all. I will probably have heartburn all night long. <laughs> but that's what you just know that's what's gonna happen when you eat a donair. That's fine. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the reaction of the people when we just bomb around on this amazing orange bike. People are just like, oh, where is it from? How much is it? What's the company? Why do you have such big tires and everything? It's, it's a blast. Like, I'm in love with this thing. So this thing even has lights on it. It's got a nice little bell. It's got horn. It's even got blinkers on it. And it's even got brake lights. So we've been here a couple of times already. This is the Halifax waterfront and this place is amazing. Tracy's having a blast right now. She's like a kid just <laughs> spinning around, spinning around. This place is the best, especially in winter with all the little kiosks. There's food everywhere. There's, there's like shows, live music. There's a ton of different things here that happens. It's personally my favorite place in the city, but right now, well, it's the first week of January and it's pretty dead. Tracy, how great is this bike? It's pretty great. <laughs> beginning of the video we told you that those fat tires are good for like basically all terrain which includes snow well we're a little short on snow here in Canada right now but we found sand so let's see what this bike can do Literally no issues at all. It's true. It can do sand. Well, I hope you enjoy a little Halifax city tour slash food tour. It's always fun making these videos, kind of showing you guys our home and what's changed since we've yeah. been away and everything. Make sure to let us know in the comments below if we forgot any cool yeah. food spot. I'm always, sure a lot has changed in Halifax. We're always willing to try some new food in our hometown. Always. <laughs> and other than that. A big, yeah. big, massive, huge, humongous thank you to Ann Motor for sending us this bike. If yeah. you're looking for an e-bike, seriously guys, 
guys, I cannot recommend this bike in particular enough. It's just perfect. 105 miles of yeah. autonomy. Um, we were both of us That's on my it. biggest part. Still that going uphill. We could both go on. Without pedaling at all. Yeah. And it's still going. Yeah. So I was very impressed. And plus, if you order one, make sure it's orange. Because orange <laughs> is the best color and it makes it faster for sure. <laughs> so all their information are going to be down below. Yeah. Thank you once again. And otherwise, see you guys in the next one.